Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Let's go ahead and move on to our next review with Mike Elgin. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. Thank you so much. So this is your first time on Before You Buy. That's right. It's great to have you here with us. Glad to be here. Uh, so Mike is our TNT host, Tech News Today. That's right, and watch that at twit.tv, of course. So you have the Rico Theta camera, correct? That's correct. I say Theta, you say Theta. Doesn't matter. Theta. theta. Uh, but uh, either way, it's a really compact thing about the size of bar of chocolate. So I reviewed something similar to this called the Galileo a couple of weeks ago, and it was a it was a camera that can do 360 degrees, but it requires you to use an application on an iPhone. Right. So this is just built in, all in one, correct? That's right. You can just use the device, and then you can upload it. But the, it does have an iOS app, and it also has an Android app, which is the one okay. I've been using. I've tried them both actually, but this is actually a very cool little device. You know, you see that it has lenses on both sides. That's how you get the 360 degree effect. And then one of the coolest effects, Shannon, you can see this the eye follows you it's like a haunted house you know where oh, the that's painting creepy. follows creepy yeah because that is all glass lens there and that's how they achieve the 360 degree that's effect so weird. do you end up with any kind of cutoff from the two sides there's a little bit of a, a, a glitch in the matrix when you see where the seam is and I'll show you that on, uh, in a, just a second but you can see one of the things that's cool about this is it's very minimalist in terms of uh, in terms of buttons and so on so you can see that it has a standard tripod mount at the bottom you can also cool. this thing flips open and you can have the usb connectivity to your laptop or whatever oh, okay. and it has a single button so if you're going to use this standalone you just press the button so i just took a 360 degree oh gosh picture right up my nose right up your <laughs> nose so this is this is also called the nose cam uh which is right. um yeah but it's it's very handy the problem with that button and we'll get to all the problems in just a second but the problem is uh, you think your nose is in this picture, you should see the size of my thumb when this picture comes oh, out because yeah, there's no way to use this button without your hand being in about 20% of the shot. Could you remotely take a picture? You can, in fact. Ah, and in fact, let's, cool. uh, let's, let's go through the rest of the hardware specs on this and we'll get okay. into the software part. So it has four gigs of memory that holds about 1,200 pictures for the okay. size that That's it creates. That's not bad. The images are actually 3584 by 1792. Wow. That's the resolution on them when they're uh, when they come out now so there's an as I said there's iOS and Android apps you can take pictures and share them you can change the brightness that's about it that's almost all you can do with this that's camera it. it's very very simple but once you have it on the app and I'm gonna bring this app over here so you can see the app and again this is the Android app uh, you can these are pictures that I've already taken you can see that they're circular uh, and if I'm gonna take a picture so I'll go ahead and uh, take a picture here you see this green interface yeah I have this in the background so I'm gonna take a picture just like that. Now, of course, we're very close, and this is right. Wi-Fi, so I could have this camera on the other side of the room. And oh, cool. once you do that, that's really the way to use this device yeah. is through the app because then your hand isn't in the picture. Uh, and you can also upload it to a, to the Theta site, and I'm going to show you that uh, now if we can kick over to the laptop. Now, this is a picture that I took uh, about an hour ago, and that is Jason once like again a making a cameo. Whoa, but you can see what happens is... Cool. You, as you move this around, you see Whoa. some of the cool effects on this. And this is totally 360. Oh you see gosh, the ceiling. You see the floor. You <laughs> see everything. And and then you can zoom in on Jason. Look at that. It's called the Jason. That's awesome. They, they should call this the Jason cam. Uh, great great moves back there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so this is this is very cool. Now, I, wanna, I, I use this picture uh, not only because Jason uh, is such an awesome oh. model, but you can see the seam there. You see that? Yes. So I this do. side is one camera and that side is the other camera and and I'm going to zoom in there and you can see there's the glitch in the matrix. But okay. normally, so we'll follow the seam up and you can see as we follow it up that that's it. You you really wow. don't see the seam normally. It's only at the bottom because of course there's a device between yes. the between the lenses. So that part of it is really cool. Another thing you want to notice is that this is not super high quality. Cameras these days, uh, including smartphone cameras, are much higher quality than this, and partly this is because this is low light. So let's look up at a picture that has more light in the in the okay. shot here. Uh, okay, let's see. This is the fridge cam. This is the this is the Twit refrigerator. <laughs> so oh, we got in there, cool. and you'll notice that there's nothing except beer and yogurt. Of so course. that's what we live on here. We are at Twit. healthy eaters here. That's, that's right, and <laughs> healthy drinkers. So you can see this is with with more light including a refrigerator light, this is not bad. You could go in and read the labels, yeah, find out the alcohol grainy. levels of all the beer. So, right. yeah, so this is this is a very cool uh, app. And again, this is a, a one of the downsides, uh, preview of some of the downsides. 
this is the app where you see this view. You see it in the app. You can see it on this app. But if you, but you upload to Facebook, upload you simply it. get a link to right. link to the here. Okay. So that's a limitation of this uh, of this device. And again, it's a lot of fun. So the pros are that it's instantaneous. I go boom, and I have 360 degrees. You can, of course, do panoramas and things like that with a regular camera. It takes a while, and you look like an idiot standing there, <laughs> you know, going all over the place. That's so this true. <laughs> this has that advantage of being very fast. It's it stitches nicely, and it's a lot of fun. This is just a fun, easy to use camera for the most part. The cons are that it costs $400. Oh, wow. That's expensive. That is the mother of all cons. That's too much for this camera. And that's so really expensive. That's exactly right. Yes. And the quality is on the low side. Um, it captures only 360-degree images, so you can't take video. There's so, There are rumors that you'll have video in the future because it has a microphone in, oh, inside cool. that hasn't been activated yet. Uh, but for now, there's only three and six. You can't do 180 photos. You can't do regular photos. You can't do anything except that special effect. That, that one thing. I so you really you. have to be hardcore about 360 degrees photos if you're going right. to purchase this product. That's right. Uh, how long does it last? Because it's, it's off battery, obviously. That's right. It it lasts pretty. Uh, I haven't d done a test all the way through, but it's hours. It's wow. it actually okay. the battery is not an issue with it. The biggest issue besides the fact that it's co that it costs four hundred dollars is that it uses Wi-Fi for connectivity. So it boots you off the Wi-Fi you have. It always wants to favor the room's Wi-Fi, I found, both at home and here at Twit. And so I'm always reconnecting to the Wi-Fi. And then yeah. when I want to upload it to the Internet, then I have to reconnect again. Do you it's have real to problem. have Wi-Fi to take photos, or can you just take pictures out in the wild? You To do anything with them, you have to have Wi-Fi. To okay. get it off of this device, you need Wi-Fi. Or to plug okay. it in, and that's an arduous process. So I'm going to give this a don't buy mm. because it's too expensive. It's too limited in terms of how you can use it. Now, granted, there are going to be people who would love this. If you have some reason that you need very instantaneous 360 degree photos, right. this is a good product, but 95% of the people listening to this, this is not the product for you. And just as comparison, you can buy a Nexus 5 for 349 That's $50 less, plus like it makes calls. <laughs> right. And as you know, that takes photospheres. That's true. It does. And the, the photographic quality of those is going to be higher mm -hmm. than this. It's cheaper. It's higher. It'll take you a little longer. There's a little bit more stitching. You look in that. a little weird moving around with your camera, but that's okay. Your phone. That's right. But I would generally uh, recommend for people who want 360 degree photos, buy an Nexus 5. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mike. And thank that you. was the Ricoh Theta or Theta. That's right. $400. Wow. So expensive.